are going to make a big head photo and what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo of a person and we're going to enlarge their head and blend it in to make it look somewhat realistic. So um, let me tell you the criteria that you need for that photo um, that you're going to be using when you're editing. Um, you want to pick out a photo of a person that has a lot of space in the background so that when their head becomes bigger, you have somewhere to put it. If you choose a photo that doesn't have a lot of space, like this one, where his head's like right here, and it's really close to the outer frame of that photo, you won't have enough space to enlarge their head. And if you use a photo with a lot of stuff going on in the background and his arms are, are like up in the air, um, it's going to be really hard for you to kind of blend that in. So it looks, it looks like it's somewhat realistic. So you don't stay away from photos like that. So this one is pretty good. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to right click on that photo and click on copy image address and then I'm going to go to Pixlr pixlr.com and I'm going to select Pixlr E as in editor that's the expert mode and I'm going to open up that image I'm going to click on load URL and paste the image address in there and then I'm going to use the lasso tool to make a selection of his head but I'm going to select around his head not like his face or anything like that it has to be around it so I'm going to use the lasso select tool and that's right there I'll leave it there so you can find it on your own and I want to make my circle like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control C to copy and then do control B as a Victor to paste. And so on the layers window, you'll see a, you'll see the original photo and then the copy and pasted um, circle that you just made. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to free transform and I'm going to resize that image. Free transform. There you go. Make sure you're on the top layer, which would be the one, the layer right there and not the background layer because you need that black background layer to um, to edit your photo. So I'm going to go and resize this image. I'm sorry, I'm going to resize his head that I just copy and pasted so it looks bigger. And I'm going to keep repositioning it back onto his shoulders. So that it looks like it's, it's too big for his body like that. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to press enter to accept the changes. And then I'm going to proceed to erase around it. So, um, it looks more natural. So I'm going to hit the eraser tool, which is right there. And I'm going to start erasing in. Now I'm not going to erase like every nook and cranny. I'm just going to erase like around here and then some of the background. So, and when you, you see all the stuff being erased, you'll, you'll realize what's going on and it'll look like it's more blended into the, to the actual photo. Like 
that. I'm going to try to get most of it there. So I erase this chain and then I'm going to erase this here. Try to kind of keep erasing until it looks somewhat natural. Like that. You know what? Make it look like, you know, I'm editing it. We got to make it look real. Some right there. Uh oh. Didn't want that. So I'm going to do con uh, Control Z to undo. And there you go. That looks pretty good. All right. And then once you're done, you're going to go up to File and you're just going to save it into your drive or onto your computer. So there you go. You got a big head photo. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at Erica, E-R-I-C-A dot Rosser, R-O-S-S-E-R -S -S -E at DesertSands dot U-S. Thank you for watching and uh, tune into my channel for more photo editing uh, videos, tutorials.